I never personally saw any sexism. So I did see racism, uh, not to a great level, but I did see racism. Um, I saw obviously a massive amount of unprofessional behavior over the years. I was in internal affairs for five years, so that's all I ever dealt with. Um, but I didn't see a lot of sexism where women were treated massively different. But then again, I, I guess, unless you are that person, then maybe yeah. because obviously I'm a bloke, obviously I didn't see it, but I, but I didn't see a lot of sexism. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to, to mention, obviously, the Casey report that came out, I think, this month. Yeah. Um, and obviously there was, yeah, the institutional racism, homophobia, misogyny was identified. Yeah, that's what um, I was going to say. Misogyny is probably, a, you know, a big thing in there. But again, it's one of those, misogyny goes back, doesn't it? A long way. But, so like in that but, sort of like boys the club thing shit. I say about misogyny, right? You got, and teaching, NHS, fire brigade, armed forces, gym. You know, we all work in yeah. gyms. You know what I mean? It is part of normal life. Why should the police, I'm not, I'm not defending it by the way, but, but I'm trying to give a bit of perspective here. Why should the police be treated any differently? You know, this is a large organisation. Right? Any large organisation, people are going to have affairs, aren't they? People are going to, have affairs it's 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 human life isn't it mm. so so I, I don't buy into that yeah. i'm not saying listen it goes on of course it goes on but is it the end of the world that that well, it just depends doesn't it whether it's it's the the woman that's happening to mm. that's that's the honest truth and how far it goes because a little bit of like misogyny or or sexism a little bit you know probably happens steady, steady. <laughs> <laughs> probably happens in loads of workplaces yeah, of but then again it's with the police aren't you supposed to be like setting a better example oh, just... does that make sense I think I think but the thing that the thing with the term misogyny is about hatred towards women right so I think it's easy to use that term loosely so yeah. did you see hatred towards women nope and discrimination in, in the police. Nope. Um, and I some, imagine it's just sexualization. I'm not saying it didn't go yeah. on, by the it's way. It's more like sexualization of women. I imagine that's what happened. Like, if you had a, if you had a fit, fit, fit bird that you work with, she probably got a lot of fucking stick Yeah, for it. well, that was one of the other comments as well. It was it was predatory behavior and unacceptable behavior. So you pair that with a bit of misogyny and that's what you, I guess, you yeah, get a sexual harassment. But I agree with John, though. It's not it's not predatory, is it? A lot of blokes are, we're, we're built that way a little bit just to be dicks. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm a dick to my, my wife all the time. In a good way, we fuck around, we have good fun. Like, again, there's 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 different ways to do it, isn't there? There's that creepy, fucking weird way that you see some yeah. blokes alike, and then mm. there's a bit of a bit of a joke and a bit of yeah. bit of fun, and 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 then there's when, where the, where the line is, isn't there? Yeah, there is. There is. I, I'm listen. I'm not saying it, it, it's going on, but but again, the character that I was myself, right? People knew where I stood. All right. So, so as I went through my career, you know, professional standards was really, really important to me. Professionalism was really, really important to me. So obviously I would work in a department or I'd work at a police station. I, I would not expect any unprofessional behavior. So I think the people around me or the people that I socialized with, they would never do that because if they did, one, I wouldn't be happy about it. And two, you know, you guys have known me long enough. You know, I'm the type of guy, if I see something wrong, I deal with it at the time. I'm not one to like, oh, let me have a think about that. Oh, I'll sort it out tomorrow. I'll sort it out next week. If I see something that's wrong, I deal with it. And, and in the police, obviously, that's what I did. And I, I did do it. You know, I used to go out on do's and social do's and see behavior that wasn't great, but I would deal with it there and then. You know what I mean? So, so uh, you know, after a while, my kind of reputation for that kind of went before me. So the people that worked for me or people that worked with me knew that if they crossed the line, JK was not going to be happy. I think the big you know, thing as well and, and, that's, and that's how it was. It's we're not, well, not we, but the, the police, they're, they're humans, they're not robots. You know, you're going to have massive different types of personalities from all different backgrounds, all different, you know, all different things. They, they're not, they're not robots. And I think nowadays we're all expect to be fucking robots. You know, we're supposed to not have any, any urges, any, you know, kind of fun, you know, what I find funny, you find funny, you find funny is probably wrong these days in, in the fucking open context of things, you know, all these different types of things. And it's going to a point now where they're going back and they're going, you know what, you were all fuckers, you're all bastards, all wrong, not forgetting all the fucking good the police have done protecting people and probably like eight ways or a bit of fucking this and that for years. But then they'll go and say, nah, you were all scumbags, really. Basically, it's what it seems like to me. Yeah, I, I guess, yeah, just that's the thing, isn't it? Because it's the, the, the common institutional that suggests that it's, you know, weaved into every aspect of it and it's not yeah. individual. So what's your reaction to that? So so I disagree with that. Okay. So, so the problem with the case report is that um, the report is all about wrongdoings within the Met. Listen, the Met needs to be shaken up a little bit. It needs to be sorted. Of course it does. But the, but the problem with any report is you're only listening to people that have got complaints. 
only got people that have got issues, right, which is fair enough, and they need to be resolved. But what the report doesn't look in is, is the thousands and tens of thousands of good things that cops do every day. Never once, you know, so, so the good things massively outweigh the bad things. Um, and you've got Wayne Cousins, you know, um, and I know there's a few bad apples in the Met, of course there is, but, but one individual who has caused um, the reputation of the Met to sink so low, I struggle to get my head around that because the majority of cops do do a good job. They do, 100%. I've seen it all my life and, and I still see it today. Of course, there's some bad apples that need to be sorted out. But you're right, Paul, to say institutional, I struggle with that because the good things always outweigh the bad things. Yes, we've got to sort out the bad things. Of course we have. 